When I create a professional portfolio website, it stands out. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design and launch your very own portfolio using Wix. Simple, customizable, and perfect for showcasing your work. So first of all, what I need to do is to, whether you are an artist, photographer, writer, or any creative professional, I'm gonna be going here directly here into Wex. So first of all, I'm gonna go into the link that I'm gonna be leaving you down below in the description to get started. So you might be prompted to generate your own account. Just put your email as well as they confirmed it. Enter a strong passcode with this uh, requirements, confirm this passcode and hit now to sign up. Once you have done this process, you'll now be inside the Wix site. So whether you want to get started choosing a template or to do this manually. So Wix offers tons of beautifully designed templates for portfolios. You can select one that matches your style and the industry. You don't have to worry uh, if it's not perfect. You can customize everything later. So for this demo, I'm gonna be picking a modern photographer template. We can even do this with artificial intelligence uh, by hitting to the option that says start chat. But today let's try it out to set up without the chat. And here choose, in my case, let's get started with photo. Uh, and I have a photographer, photo studio, photo store, photo blog, boot services, and much more. Let's try it out with the photo studio. And now go for continue. This will be sending you directly into the dashboard of the Wix. So before we continue with creating your website, let's understand a little bit more about the Wix.com setup. So let's close this just for now. Let's locate our dashboard. And inside our dashboard, you can see the here into the upper side, we have all your sites that you have generated and created. The explore section that can be helping you to check out updates, the app market, inspiring website and courses and lessons to learn more about how to get started into Wix. To hire a professional, health and upgrade. Into the left part, we have the quick actions, for example, the setup that can help us to set up our business if we in case missed something into our website. The home dashboard can be helping you to check out the inside, the analytics, the activity feed suggested for ourselves, domain connected, our plan, the business information and much more. Getting paid, of course, is to help you to connect, generate pay links, generate invoices, adding proposals, adding a POS checkout, connect your payment method, request payments, and do so much more. You have the booking calendar to generate your own calendar, booking list, work schedules, adding some sales, the catalog applications. This, for example, is in case you wanted to create an online store. You have a site and the mobile application if you wanted to generate your own app inbox, customers, marketing, analytics, and automations. Now let's get into the design your site down here. So when I clicked here, or when I go for directly into the setup, we usually have the section that says design your website. Let's get into design your site. This is the power editor to customize, in my case, a portfolio. Once again, you can do this with artificial intelligence, or you can do this with an actual template. Let's try it out with picking a template. Based on the elements that you tell Wix, you're going to be receiving tons of matched. For example, here you have fitness studio, a wedding photographer, art school, music artist, and much more. So choose one of the best suits for yourself and go for edit. Now, once you hit now into edit, you're going to be prompted to uh, get started with Wix website editor. You have here the huge right section of everything that's going to be playing into this website. Into the left part, we can add elements, add sections, pages and menus, everything about your site design, add applications, we can add stuff about your business, check out your media and the CMS. Down here, you have this new element of artificial intelligence just to make this toast much more faster. So with artificial intelligence, we can just enhance our AI content, for example, add some details about your site, the type of the site, and the name of the site. So for example, if I just type music artist, the name of my site should be Cran Samst, and add some details about your site. For example, let's say this is a London, that would be actually it. Generate my site text, and here's creating the text for my site, just to make the CEO much more affordable. Now here into the upper side, once again, you have the page where you can check about home, music, about tour, press kit, booking online, booking pages, event pages, 
you can add more pages you can manage all your pages down in here check out your members area even pages or even if you wanted to see or don't want to see a specific page you just wanted to hit now into page go for the page that you wanted to delete and let's go here into pages and menu you have the side menu sign up and login booking pages let's go for example for the option that says uh, tour three dots and delete now let's get started by adding our very first or customizing our very first website for example the about section when i click into side page in the menu we can just edit whatever element you want to do for example the about element now i have the about ransoms and automatically this information will be generated for the artificial intelligence what is left for me to do is to change the images for example uh, in my case I think that this custom background works but just in case it didn't work for you you can focus into my site designs you have the site theme or you can just change the theme have the color theme the text theme the page background and some page transitions let's try out with the page transition we currently have the out end we can check out the crossfade horizontal and vertical let's try out only with the crossfade go back and change a little bit the theme of my website for example this one and check out how it actually looks so you're going to be looking a little bit different than the other one so with this in mind we can just click here go back and in my case i think i'm going to click into one specific section which in this case is going to be editing this whole section so let's close this for now select the section and inside the section let's go for a uh, quick edit so you should be seeing this inside here so for example change the background we can change the layout the dividers stretched help and more let's get into manage the columns we can add a new column or to leave it into two and check out how it actually looks i'm going to delete this or Control c because i don't want to edit this right now i just clicked here double clicked and changed the background this is the current image let's try it out with something else let's go for image once again and i'm going to upload my own media inside here i'm going to upload from my computer and import a image that i already have downloaded or have into my desktop now i know that this is so much information so you don't have to worry if i'm going too fast you can of course go back and check out once and check out this video a little bit more slower but basically what i'm actually doing is just to click the into elements that i would like to edit basically wix is really really easily to edit you just need to go and focus into one element would you like to edit and you're actually good to go if you wanted to get started totally from scratch assuming for example that i'm going to be going for a new website or a new site or a new uh in my case a new page let's go for a new page blank page usually here into this new blank page we can focus into the plus elements or into the section and we can just drag and drop elements and check out how it actually looks once you finish with this process so once again it's really easily to get started with an actual wix element if, for example if you wanted to create a portfolio you can focus into the reaction of the ai generator section type you can just go look out for pro gallery drag and drop and check out how it actually appears into my website what you need to do of course is to edit your own elements so in the upper side we have this menu that i can click in here into managed menu so basically what i'm doing just clicking into the element that i would like to edit and automatically it's going to be displaying out a new menu or side menu bar uh, that can help me to edit what i'm actually clicking in it so uh, getting started with a wex portfolio website is going to be really really easily it's an easy setup to use right now so making your website more friendly which is the last thing i would like to connect to it's appearing to the upper side which is the desktop you can switch to the mobile and make sure that everything is inside the right place so for example this section actually i think that i can try to make the wix pro gallery a little bit more uh smaller for example two or three images per row so let's go for two so it looks much more interesting i'm going to make this a little bit bigger and give it some space so make sure that you have edited your website from both the desktop and the mobile view once you finish with this process hit now into save here is a free wix domain if you don't want to pay for any uh, plans go for save and continue and make sure that you have choose and make sure that you have hidden to preview so you can check out how it actually looks your portfolio so 
uh, clicked into all the elements of your website, the about section, the music tour, press kit, check out the animations if everything looks correctly, if everything is into the right place, change to the mobile view to see if everything is correctly into the right place. And once you finish with this process and everything looks correctly for you, you can go into published and that will be actually it. Your very own portfolio website built into Wix. I know there's a lot of things to do here into Wix. I know there's a lot of things to understand. There's a lot of things to cover, but basically this is the basic information count helping you to import all your info from a PDF file, for example, into a actual professional website using only Wix. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs down, subscribe for more web design tips. Let me know in the comments what kind of website you're building. Thank you for watching and hopefully we can all see you next time.